Welcome to Adobe by DJ Spear C. Today we have the Venom Pro Duo Charger with lithium-ion, lithium uh, yeah, lithium-ion or lipo high voltage, should I say? Um, yeah. This is a dual charger from Venom. Uh, it is a compact charger. It does pack a lot of punch in a small package. If you're bringing it around, see what's in the box itself. Uh, it's AC charger and DC. And my camera doesn't want to really want to focus. She's playing her ball with me again. Uh, it's an 80 watt dual charging circuit. Basically it means circuit one, circuit two has 80 watts on both sides. It is a dual power supply. Uh, I had another one that was defect that was given to me by Venom. Uh, I opened it, recycled the power supply itself in it, and they're pretty awesome. Uh, 80 watts for charging to max, 5 watts for discharging, and then you have your charging current to 0 0.27 to amps, to point blah, blah, blah. Uh, it does uh, NICAD, NIMH, does lipo the uh, lithium cell counter to one to six pb battery two to 20 volts and then you have the weight and the dimension and what's fun in this pack they give you two balancing boards basically these are extensions you don't really need them but sometimes they're fun you don't need uh, balancing extensions and they give you an EC5, an EC3, they give you a Deans, they give you a Tamiya, a receiver battery, a charge lead, XT60, alligator tip, tip, clip, wow, GST plug. And like I said, they give you a lot in this box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Again, one of the first thing you do see when you open pretty much any charger box would be your manual. And this one's not too long, 20 pages. But I do recommend that you take a look at this manual, please. Let's start. What's in this pouch right here? You have your balancing le leads, or balancing board, should I say. They clip on, and basically you plug in your charger. We do have a power plug. And this is the connectors they give you. Now, one of the things they did do Sometimes what you can have, like this guy here, it gives you a GST, but they put a Dean on the other side. Basically, you use your Dean's lead to plug it in to be able to charge a GST. And the wires are fa fairly, uh, they're at least a foot long. Nice. these aside, take this out of the way, unwrap this guy because I'll need to plug it in, and we have our charger, and it doesn't weigh a lot, believe me, it doesn't. Now, by looking at it, you have your uh, your main buttons on front here, and you have your charge start balancing ports, and your main channel one and two. 
Flip it on its side, you have a fan, a vent. Flip it to the back, you'll have the DC input. Then you'll have dual temperature sensor when you're charging NICADs or NIMH and your main power. On the other side again, you have a fan, an intake or an exhaust, depending on how they do it. And you have more underneath. Now, that's one thing I don't have on my bench is direct access to power. That's probably a modification I should do. Let's plug it in. Now I'm just not sure if you can bring the intensity of the down. Let's see if I can. One thing I can tell you, the beep is annoying. It's loud. Unfortunately, I don't see I can. Hmm. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's see, I'll try to zoom in. Not sure if you'll be able to see it. No, nah, you kind of see it. Yeah, you can. Now, basically, this charger is the same programming as any uh, high tech charger out there, uh, even SkyRC. They're all using the same uh, OS. Now, you see programming selection, uh, lithium battery meter. Now you have back to program, load data, save data, PB, you have NICAD, NIMH, LiPo, and you're back to uh, LiPo battery meter. Yep. Let's go to LiPo and we'll press enter. Now, this light tells you we're on charger one, and this is charger two. And for some reason, I've lost a sweet spot. <laughs> Sorry about that again. Now you'll have your LiPo charger. It's set at seven amp. If we press start once, now the seven will start flashing. That's where you can physically select uh, the amperage you want. If you press start again, that's where you select what kind of battery or cell, should I say, it has. Right now it's a 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and you have 6S. Then you press start again. Now if we press the increase or decrease. Now you'll have LiPo balance, LiPo fast charge, LiPo storage, LiPo discharge, and back to charge. Now the major difference between charge, it will charge your battery without checking the cells. If you go LiPo balance, the charger, what it'll do, will balance the battery, make sure every cell are fine on it. LiPo fast charge, it will charge the battery fast up to 80% to ish of its capacity. Storage, it will put the battery in storage mode, roughly about 40 to 45% of its capacity. Discharge, it will completely kill your battery. And we're back to charge. Now, if you want to basically back up, if you hit the stop, now that's where you get to select the other programs on it. 
And it's pretty much the same thing on the other guys. The only difference you'll see is if we go in NICAD, hit select, you have NICAD charge, discharge, number of cycles, uh, NIM charge current, that's when you go in manual mode. Uh, and then you have Ni uh, NICAD discharge, NICAD cycle, NICAD charge to manual and discharge, NICAD cycles again, and you're going so and so on. Now it's again, it's the same thing as NIMH, discharge, cycle, cycle, discharge, and so on and so on. Now to be able to go to charger number two, you're gonna hit this guy here, change the channel. They're totally independent, like I said. Uh, and that's a little great, awesome charger. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.